We have a question from Douglas. He says, I've recently purchased a sled and I plan to introduce it into my training. Sled training, training sled. <laughs> Introducing sled to my training. Yeah. Okay, is that funny? Okay. Do you have any advice on how and where is best to start and progress, progress with it? It has two handles for pushing and intend on using straps for pulling. Perfect. I could make it light, medium, or heavy. So from a, uh, he's going to ask, what do you think? Uh, well, everything works. So I like using sleds as prowlers. That's pushing the car, okay? Uh, by the way, I like pushing cars for training, too. I, I still think the car is the most underrated. Uh, I mean, you, most of my listeners already have one. Here, get the car, you know, pretend. Just tell all your clients you're out of gas, you know. Have, you know, just drive, you know, just go to all your clients' homes, you know. Have client A push you to client B's home. Client B, push you to client C's home. That's be a great workout. Um, I like I like to go lighter on sled. So if you're using it as a prowler, I don't like it going massively heavy. I think it's far more important to have that. Uh, I mentally think of marching in place when we're doing prowlers. You know, pump, 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 pump. Not don't let the feet turn out and start turning into a huge waddle. With sleds, the same issue has. If you start to overload a sled, you you again your feet turn out and you start to wallow a little bit, and you really aren't successfully using a sled the way I think it'd be. I err on more light. Uh, let's say light medium is where I'd rather have the sled being used. Um, since you're going to use uh, it as a sled and as a as a prowler, uh, here's an idea: three days a week. Prowler one day, backwards sled pull. So you have your hands in the uh, kind of water ski position, straight arms walking backwards. Great for the knees. Oh my God, great for the knees. And on the third day of the week, use it sled style like we did back when I was first training back in the 60s and 70s, where you just grab and sprint with the sled. It's like running hills. Um, if you have hills near your house, you really don't need sleds. You can sprint up hills and you can run backwards up hills and get most of the benefits of sleds. But there is something magical about the Prowler uh, car pushing there. There's something magical about it. And yeah, it's hard. Um, gosh, I hope that helps. Uh, I would use, I do have a rule about loaded carries and it, this include in Prowlers and sleds. Try to never have the same workout twice. You know, just keep constantly trying to vary things up. So you know, maybe one day you, you do throw all the kids on the prowler and you push it, you know, a relatively short distance. There is a day you go fairly light. And I have that one workout that Mitch gave me where I do eight gobble squats, about a 20 meter prowler push, eight push ups. And I had the ultimate time I did that, the hardest of all of them, was when I did 20 rounds of it. So 160 gobble squats. It's a lot of gobble squats. Uh, turn out to be 400 meters of sleds, of prowlers, which is a lot of prowlers, and 160 push-ups. And uh, that's a lot of work, folks. Uh, very, very simple, but it really worked well. Gosh, I hope that helps. Uh, thank you, and good luck to you on this.